Hey, it's Jared with State of Tech. Welcome to State of Tech Tuesday. We did take yesterday off for Labor Day, so thanks for hanging in there with us, and I hope that you had a great Labor Day weekend. So today we're gonna talk about backing up on your iPhone. Now, last week we did a video on backing up your Android appropriately, and the video went really well. So I thought, let's talk about the iPhone today. Um, we've got the iPhone announcement coming tomorrow, so we'll learn more about iPhone 7, but I wanted to talk today about backing up on your iPhone. Now, there are two different ways that you can back up, and I'm sure you're aware of them, but I wanted to talk about the pros and cons of each. Now, you can back up directly by plugging in your phone to your Mac or PC and using iTunes, and then for several years now, you've been able to back up using iCloud. So first of all, let's talk about what those are and what the differences are. Now, when you back up plugging into your computer and using iTunes, you're doing what's called a local backup, which means when you run a backup, it's actually just backing up to your computer and, uh, and that's it. And the only way that that would be any different is um, as if you were using something to back up your computer that was offsite as well, like Backblaze or something like that, where uh, the contents of your computer was also being backed up off-site, like uh, even Time Machine Backup would do that. So that's uh, the difference between iCloud, which is backing up to the cloud. So you don't need any cables or anything like that. If you have it turned on when your phone is plugged in and like resting on your nightstand or your, com or your computer desk or wherever you keep your phone, your iPhone will just back up to iCloud automatically. So the difference is there is that when you back up to iTunes on your computer, it uses storage space on your computer. And when you back up to iCloud and the cloud, it uses up your iCloud storage. Now iCloud, uh, all of us have a limited amount of iCloud storage that we get with our uh, just having an iTunes account. And it's very minimal. And so depending on what you're backing up to iCloud, you could need more space than what's available. For example, I use a, um, a 50 gigabyte plan with iCloud, and uh, that plan gives me the ability to back up not only my iPhone, but the iPod Touch that my kids use and our iPad as well. Um, and that's currently 99 cents a month, which I think is pretty good for backup. And I don't even really get close to using all of that backup space. Now, I'm a very cloud-oriented person, so I don't store any music or really a whole lot of stuff on my phone. Um, I stream it, and then the photos and video that I have on my phone, I typically back up to Google Photos instead of using my iCloud storage. So I don't even really need a lot of storage, but I back up to iCloud. Now, I could back up to iTunes instead, and that would keep everything local. The problem with that is that should you have any problem with your computer, uh, you lose it, it gets corrupt or breaks or something happens, uh, you're going to lose that backup as well. Now, iTunes also keeps a certain amount of backups uh, that, you know, you can choose how many backups it keeps. So that way it doesn't use up all of your computer storage, but it does keep a couple of backups on your Mac or your PC. And then when you need to restore your phone, such as maybe if you buy the new iPhone that's coming out, uh, you wanna run a backup and then you can plug in and restore from that backup. So let's talk about that because you know backing up is important. I think you know we have photos, we've got video, contacts, you know, emails, all that stuff, and it needs to be backed up. And I found that the easiest way to back up is using iCloud. So as long as you know that you can use iCloud backup and not run out of storage, or you're okay purchasing a storage plan, I think that's probably the best way to go. I typically never plug my phone into my computer anymore uh, because like I said, I'm not syncing music from iTunes to it or movies or anything like that. But for those of you that do, backing up to both actually isn't a problem either. You can back up to iTunes and you can also back up to iCloud. You just have to um, when you plug in, it'll ask you if you want to back up and you can say yes. And then when you unplug, uh, you'll have to make sure that iCloud backup stayed turned on. So let's take a look at that. If you go into your settings menu here and tap on iCloud, uh, you're going to get kind of an overview of your iCloud account. It shows you what you're signed into. Uh, it shows you how much storage you have available. And then down below are all the toggles that tells you what you're backing up and what other features that are iCloud features that you're using. 
So for example, um, backing up, I have photos turned off because I don't want all of my photos and videos to back up to iCloud. I'm using Google Photos for that. But if you want your photos and videos to be backed up, you'll wanna make sure that's turned on. You wanna make sure that mail, contacts, calendars, and all of the other little switches are turned on to make sure that your entire phone is getting backed up. Unless you're using an alternate service, like I use Google Calendar for my calendar instead of the calendar app on my phone, so I just turn that off. There's, I've kind of customized my backup to fit my needs. But you'll wanna make sure that, that the majority of those are turned on or all the ones that you're using are turned on. Now, under backup, if you tap backup, you'll see iCloud backup and it tells you automatically backup data and you wanna have that turned on. It'll also say backup now and it'll show you when your latest backup was. Now, if you've never ran this before, if iCloud backup was never turned on for you, you're not gonna have an existing backup. And so what I recommend doing is plugging your phone into the charger and ta tapping backup now. And it's gonna spend, depending upon how much stuff you have on your phone, you know, anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour or two backing up your phone and making sure it's all backed up to the cloud. Um, and it's probably best to do this from a Wi-Fi connection because it's gonna use data to do that and you wanna make sure that you don't use up all of your data package that comes with your phone and that you use that uh, Wi-Fi that you have at home or at work to do that instead. Other features that are iCloud features are Find My Phone. So if you did lose your phone, you can actually go to iCloud.com from your computer and find your phone on the map. So I recommend keeping that one turned on so that you have that. And there's also a uh, Find My Phone app that you wanna have installed and running on your phone as well. There's some other things down below like mail and share my storage. We won't go into details on these, but um, they are there for you to configure if needed. So these are the settings for your iCloud storage. And like I said, if you need a bigger storage plan, the, uh, the phone will tell you. If you start to back up and you run out of storage, it will tell you that it cannot run your backup because you don't have enough storage. And then you would need to come in here and change your storage plan and uh, perhaps get a bigger storage plan. 50 gigabytes should be enough for most of us with a single device, and I think 99 cents per month is pretty good. If you already have this and you're wondering, if you already have a storage plan, you're wondering why it's so full, you can tap on Manage Storage, and that's gonna go ahead and show you everything that's being backed up to your iCloud storage account. Um, and then if there's some devices maybe that you don't have anymore, like for example, you can see, um, uh, Jared's iPhone, like I don't have that device anymore. I have Jared's iPhone that says this phone. I have that one. And so I could actually go ahead and maybe delete one of those old backups. If you tap on it, you can see the la latest backup and the backup size. And then you can actually just hit delete backup and then turn off and delete. And it's going to go ahead and delete that backup that you don't need anymore. Uh, that's one way to free up a little bit of space, especially if you've gotten a few devices over the last few years. You may have some old backups in here and you can clear out a little bit of space. Um, so that's, like I said, I kind of lean towards the cloud backup because it happens more automatically. I don't have to plug my phone into my computer. But for those of you that want to do a local backup in iTunes, you can definitely do that. Just keep in mind that your backup is gonna be local on your computer, and it's not technically gonna be as good of a backup as something that's in the cloud. Because, you know, say your bag got stolen and it had your laptop and your phone in it. You have now lost not only your phone and your laptop, but you've lost your backup as well. So you wanna make sure that you have a good backup going that's going to, you know, take care of you should you have an issue there, which is why I recommend not only backing up your phone to something like the cloud, but backing up um, your computer as well to something like the cloud using Backblaze or using even a time machine backup that you can do locally, but making sure that you keep that somewhere safe and protected. Um, so anyways, backup is, is really important. I can't tell you how many people who have emailed me and said, you know, how do, I back, how do I get my backup restored or whatnot? And I say, well, you, did you have iCloud backup turned on? No, I don't think so. And then it doesn't show up for them. So you wanna make sure that this backup is happening. Even if when you got the phone, maybe at the Apple store or when you turn the phone on for the first time, you signed in, it's important for you to go in every now and then even and look at that screen, that backup screen and see when your latest backup was. 
Now, if your phone stops backing up for any reason, the iPhone does a pretty good job of telling you that it hasn't backed up in a while, and you wanna investigate that. Don't just hit cancel or whatever. Figure out why your phone isn't backing up. Is it because iCloud ran out of, of storage, your iCloud storage? Or is it because you haven't plugged in your phone in a long time? Why is it that the backups are not working? If the backups are not working, then when you get a new phone or you lose your phone or it breaks or something like that, you're not gonna have a very current backup. So make sure that you're running consistent backups. If you choose to go the iTunes route of backing up your phone, you're gonna need to back up your phone often. You're going to need to plug it in and manually do that backup often because if you don't, then your backup is only going to be as good as the last time that you plugged in your phone. This is why I recommend taking advantage of iCloud, iCloud backup, getting your backup done pretty much every night when you go to bed, you plug in your phone or every morning or whatnot when you plug in your phone at the office or wherever it is that you typically charge your phone. As long as your phone's connected to Wi-Fi and power, it's going to run that backup. Uh, and for me, I just plug in my phone at night before I go to bed, and it runs a backup while I sleep, and I never have to worry about it. And ever since I first started using iCloud Backup when it became available, I've never had a problem uh, simply because it just works, and it works well. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below if you like one version of backup versus the other, or if what I said is still a little confusing to you, feel free to ask questions uh, in the comment section below. I have noticed one thing about you, all of you out there that post comments, you're very helpful people, and I appreciate that. Uh, a couple of weeks ago when we did our video on unlimited, um, the unlimited data plans that are becoming available, a lot of you have been very helpful in the comment section. It's just been fantastic to see uh, people helping other people in the comment section of this video here. So thanks so much for that. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. Uh, you'll get updates and notifications when we get new videos and put them out. We're trying to do that five days a week, so you'll get notifications once a day when we put out a new video. Thanks so much for checking out State of Tech, and we hope to see you here soon next time. Thanks.